segment number 39 of my Thanksgiving special. Oh. Let's play Jeopardy Platinum Edition for the Game Boy. Let's see how we do in this game, shall we? With Jeopardy Platinum Edition. <laughs> We have Hodgepodge, American Books, U.S. Geography, General Science, Geography, and the 1940s. Okay. Her only Pulitzer Prize for fiction was for one of ours, not my Antonia. I have no idea. Ugh. No clue. Looking for Willa Cather. Willa Cather. All right. American Books 200, please. Who's your poet who wrote his 1885 poem, Little Orphaned Annie, in Who's Your Dialect? Oh. I have no earthly idea. Wrong. Looking for James Whitcomb Riley. James Whitcomb Riley. All right. Sequentially, the Deerslayer is the first of these tales, but it was the last written. You got nothing on that one. Tough clues. The Leather Stocking Tales. Yeah. Well, let's just keep going. While an editor of Graham's Magazine, he wrote The Mask of the Red Death. Who is Edgar Allan Poe? This one I know. <laughs> All right. American Book 5, I think. This Jack London title animal is the offspring of a wolf and an Indian dog, and an Indian wolf dog. Uh, who is White Fang? Which I've seen the Disney movie countless times since I was a little boy. I love White Fang. It's one of my favorites. If you ask me, White Fang is very underrated. Very underrated movie. Yay! <laughs> Alright, which category do I want now? I will take uh, general science for 100. In 1938, Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann discovered this process of splitting an atom. I have a guess, but I'm going to hold back. If I were to buzz in, I'd say what is nuclear fission. Would it have been nuclear fission? I would have been right. Oh well. General Science 200. When it proceeds ounce for ounce, the abbreviation FL stands for this. What is a uh, fluid? Fluid ounces. Correct. General Science 300. Olfaction is the sense of smell, and gustation is this sense. Once again, I have a guess? I would say hearing. No, it's taste. Thank God I did not buzz in. It's the dried outer covering of a seed or fruit. Corn has one. Oh, got no answer on this one. Well, let's see if Gail knows this one any better than I do. A husk. Oh, okay. That's correct. Hodgepodge 
one hundred. A person with this job is also called a ten percenter. I have it between two of them. Agent. Okay, that was not my guess. That was not one of my two guesses. All right. U.S. Geography. I should do good here. The lowest point in the Western Hemisphere is this site at the foot of the Panamint Mountains. Death Valley. Oh, okay. He's probably the most sagacious human ruler in the Bible. Ugh. God, uh... God, I don't know. Solomon. Uh, alright. Next. April 16th, the birthday of Queen Marguerite the second is a holiday in this country. Queen Marguerite. Queen Marguerite. Queen Marguerite. Uh, I have it between two of them. Denmark. And I was thinking either Sweden or Greece for some reason. But yeah, I got it right. Next. Etzel was the German name for this scourge of God. Ugh. Pass. You said it like Mark LeBet. <laughs> Attila the Hun. Type of meat you need to make roti de chavel a la cannelle. Once again, I have it between two. I'm gonna say beef. No horse, I would have been wrong. Okay. This river forms part of Maryland's border with Virginia and West Virginia. What is the Potomac? If I'd gotten this wrong, Marty would never let me live it down, and neither would Hunter. Uh, Hunter Dillon, that is. Not 412 Amrock. U.S. Geography for 300. Daily Double. Okay. Money sitting in front of me at 1,300. Oh, let's do 700. 700 on this clue in U.S. Geography. That'll put me at $2,000 if I'm right. Here's the clue. Several land speed records have been set on this barren saline plain in northwestern Utah. Saline plain in northwestern Utah. What is the Bonville Salt Flats? Correct. $2,000. U.S. Geography for 400. Named for a U.S. president, it's Florida's most populous city. <coughs> uh, Michael Batten went there recently. What is Jacksonville? Geography for 500. This island is the southernmost of New York City's five boroughs. Uh, what is Staten Island? Have it between two. But I'm gonna take a chance to say what is Staten Island. Correct! Staten Island. What kind 
category was over there? Was it just regular geography? No, general science. 500. <coughs> it's the point in the heavens directly above you. The nadir is basically below you. Let's see if Gail knows this one. Oh, the zenith. All right. Greece has over 400 of these, and Crete is the largest. What are islands? Uh, geography for 200. Though Rabat is the capital, Casablanca is this city's is this country's largest city. What is Morocco? Uh, geography for 300. This Liberian capital, founded in 1822, is at the mouth of the St. Paul River. What is Monrovia? The Federal Islamic Republic of the Comoros Islands lies in this ocean, in the Mozambique Channel. What is the Indian Ocean? <coughs> Geography for 500. Anjuan, Abu Dhabi, and Dubai are three of this nation's seven autonomous, autonomous states. What is the United Arab Emirates? In 1943, he successfully tested the aqualong he invented with Emile Gagnon, who is um, Jacques Cousteau. Hey, Ty. Hey, kitty. please because he was born in this enemy country opera star Ezio Pinza was held by the FBI in 1942 what is Italy uh, 300 In April 1942, Dr. William Temple, Archbishop of York, became 92nd to be Archbishop of this place. What is Canterbury? On June 5th, 1947, the Secretary of State called for the European Recovery Plan known by his name. Gail? <clears throat> George Marshall. Now the last clue. Cleveland Indians pitched
pitching ended this Yankee center fielder's record 56 game hitting streak. Looking for Joe DiMaggio. All right, let's play Double Jeopardy. <laughs> Traveling towards it for 200. It's the main attraction in Pike National Forest. I'd better get this one. What is Pike's Peak? Otherwise, Eugene would have said those infamous words to me and eaten me for breakfast. Uh, or is it travel and tourism? What's the category? Travel and tourism? Yeah. The Seward Silver Salmon Derby is an annual summer event in this state. What is Alaska? This New York City complex contains the GE building and Radio City Music Hall. What is Rockefeller Center? Uh, travel and tourism for 800. The gravesite of a of man of war is in a Lexington horse park in this state. What is Kentucky? <laughs> Travel and tourism for a thousand. This Central American country is bisected by the Trans Isthmian Highway. What is Panama? <laughs> we know sport played as a category. What are the other four? Business, alphabet soup, fashion, and television. It's located between EST and MST. What is SST or CST? I'm sorry, CST. CST. Central Standard Time. Alphabet Soup 400. Appending these four letters to an order means to execute it at once. ASAP. Oh, okay. Alphabet soup for 600. Azadil thymidine, a drug used in AIDS treatment, is called this for short. AZT. All right. Michael Chang, Boris Becker, Gabriella Sabatini. I'm going to say they all played tennis. Sport played for 400. Barry Sanders, Jim McMahon, Eric Dickerson. I believe they were all football players. I'll say what's football.
Uh, Sport played for 600. It's 8800 right now. Gail's not even close to me. James Worthy, Carl Malone, Isaiah Thomas. What is basketball? Eight hundred sport play. <laughs> Cecil Fielder, Roger Clemens, Dennis Eckersley. What is baseball? <laughs> sport played one thousand. Daily Double! I feel pretty good about this one. Let's make it a Daily Double. Good boy! Betsy King, Beth Daniel, Patty Sheehan. What is all? Yep! $18,000 more than Gail. A level in the Hobbit's hub hierarchy or an automaker. What is GM? General Motors. Alphabet Soup 1000. You have a daily double. $25,000 if I get it right. Here's the clue in alphabet soup. Two-letter version of a baseball term or a branch of the U.S. Congress. Two-letter version of a baseball term or a branch of the U.S. Congress. coming to me. HR. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Oh, home run. Okay. I still have a bundle. Let's keep going. This Fort Worth based corporation rents more than 6,000 Radio Shack stores. Not too sure about this one. Tandy Corporation. All right. About 30% of the world's bananas are sold under this number one brand name. Have a guess. Have it between the two of them. I guess either Chiquita or Dole. Chiquita, my first guess was right. Oh well. I'm not worried. KPMG Pete Marwick is the largest of the big six firms in this business. Accounting. Alright. In 1952, this company introduced the flow-through tea bag. I'm gonna say what is Lipton. Correct. A former logo of this oil company featured a small star at its bottom. What is mobile? Oh, wow. Texo 
a call. Oh, all right. Coco, the novel, is a fictional account of this woman's life. Who is uh, Coco Chanel? the lady prefers. Haynes. All right. The real first name of this mash head nurse was Margaret, who is Hot Lips Houlihan. Nurse Daniels shot Dr. Peter White on this series set in a Boston hospital. What is said elsewhere? I got a lot of money sitting in front of me right now. She played widowed nurse Julia Baker on Julia. Diane Carroll, uh Known as Mr. Warmth, <clears throat> this comedian played Daddy Dearest to Richard Lewis, who is Don Rickles. This comedy that debuted in 1965 was set in style at 13, a POW camp. What is Hogan's Heroes? This elegant Superman is also called Black Tie. <clears throat> what is a tuxedo? <laughs> the Japanese Ferrisode is a type of this robe with large flowing sleeves. Oh no, alright. Spanish 
for a little shawl. It's a shawl or veil usually made of black lace. Gale buzzes in. It's a mantilla. Mantilla. And so the girl is $5,000 at $19,800. department is in charge of printing all postage stamps. The treasury, but I do win $19,600. Which is not bad. It's a good amount of money. We'll wrap it up for this segment. I'll see you all for the next one.